Hey everybody, we are back. Welcome back to the channel. It's Lucas and it's Friday morning, bright and early, and we're checking out some yard sales. I know we didn't have a video last week. My dad did come up and we were going to go to some yard sales here in the Indianapolis area, but it uh, ended up raining. I didn't get any footage because I didn't want to get my GoPro out in the rain. And then we both really just didn't get much. So uh, there wasn't much to make a video about, but we're back. We're going to go to some yard sales now and there's one right in front of me. Let's get right into it first sale in and we've already scored pretty well I found this OSM fat loss monitor um, model number HBF 306 C and I saw some of these sell for like 40 to 50 bucks it does power on um, maybe needs new power new batteries I got this stack of Star Wars books they're all the same thing well they're all the same thing but there's one for each of the original trilogy and I saw a set of all three of them sell for $50 um, I got this. I haven't looked it up, the Essential Character Guide, and I got these little things. They open up and they have little scenes in them. Uh, I didn't look them up, and I think Vader might be missing a back piece. I don't know. And then, of course, the classic Ouija board, but I paid $15 for everything you see here, and we're going to do pretty good, and hopefully that's a sign of a great thing to come because it's only been one yard sale, so really excited. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Thanks. Bag is priced the side there. On what side? That's for everything in the bag. Okay, thank you. Oh, Harry Potter stuff. Yeah. Oh, I can't open.
get adoption again. So we're it's at the state fairgrounds, but my friend JD and Anita are being helped to buy a booth there for a Those are all audio books. Audio books. I both on cassette and CD, and of course to travel. Take a look so at them. So are you them. just recording life as you walk around? Yeah. So me and my dad went to a bunch of yard sales when we were, or when, before I moved out. And I joked around, I said, you're missing all the yard sales up here in Indianapolis because we grew up in a small town. Okay. And I jokingly told him, like, if I find a GoPro at a yard sale, I'm going to start filming yard sales. And then a couple weeks ago, I found one. So. You found a GoPro? Yeah. <laughs> Darn, that makes my flip and my little Kodak camera useless. And then I've got a handheld JVC one. Yeah. And I'm like, I can't believe how many cameras I've gone through. And now there's just this. Yeah, and there's just right? everything in my pocket. Yeah. So, wow. That's so I, fun. Yeah, I jokingly told my dad. My dad. <laughs> You have 10 on the bag full of Harry Potter stuff. Would you take five for it? Yes. Perfect. I just want it gone. <laughs> <laughs> the Harry Potter stuff. I'll even give you a dog crate for it. Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, everything's got the tags on it. So if you're into collectible stuff, you know, yeah. I like, saved all the boxes Perfect. and everything. So. Perfect. So Great. That. Thank Perfect. you. Thank you very much.
Did you take three for this? It's yours, Lisa. How much I have on it? Five. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. What the heck you got on your shoulder? Oh, it's a little camera. Me and my dad, we used to go to yard sales all the time. You have 25 cents each on the Wii game, and then yeah. I didn't know about this one. Um, it's 50. 50, so it's yeah. $2, or I think one, two, three, four, five, so yeah. Should be $2. Yeah. Perfect. Math was not my best subject. <laughs> Thank you. Perfect. Thank you very much. I'm going to get a bag out of my backpack here. Five for your boombox? What? Would you take five for your boombox? Uh, How about I split it with you? Seven? All right, I can do that. Okay. And then I'll grab your blank cassettes that you got down in here too. Oh, you want some of those? Okay. Yeah, the blank ones. Anyway. I think those are all blanks, aren't they? There's a couple of them that are. So those are 10 cents each. One, yeah. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Couldn't be more perfect. Look oh, at that. Very good. So $8? I'll settle for that. Yeah. Nicely. Uh, 
five, six, that's a 20, seven, and eight. Eight. Perfect. The cord's on top. All right, thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Well, guys, it's about quarter to two now. I filled the car as pretty well as I can, and uh, it's time to go home. I've got to clean out my eBay room so that I can put all this stuff in there. Um, and then I've got a shower, and then I've got to head to work. i got about an hour tops to do all that. And then uh, hopefully the rain holds off, and we'll do it again tomorrow. If not, we'll start going over everything that I got this weekend. So I'll see you tomorrow, or I'll see you tomorrow. Hey, everybody. It is now Saturday. It's about 9 a.m. I accidentally slept in an hour. Whoops. Um, sorry for the noise. Uh, it's pretty gray, so I think rain is about to show up. So I don't know how many sales I'm going to get hit today, uh, going to get to hit today, um, but we're going to try and hit as many as we can, and if the rain comes, we're going to keep browsing around. There is a big little community sale, it's about another 10 minutes away, there's a couple yard sales on the way, but hopefully I can get down to this community sale before the rain starts showing up. Um, last night, the forecast said that it wasn't going to rain at all, and or it was going to wait until like 11 o'clock to start raining, and then looking this morning, it said about 9.30, so we'll see what happens. Uh, try and find some more stuff, and if it rains, it rains. What are you going to do? Another weekend, another another rainy weekend. Good old, good old Midwest, so let's go see what we can find. Just got a big score, baby. Box of do -si dos for two bucks. Hell yeah. Well, guys, I think... The threat of rain was just as bad as having rain, because it all went south of us. There's no rain coming, but nobody set up. I I hit six dots in a row on Yard Sale Treasure Map, and they just weren't there. Nobody set up. That little community sale, I didn't get any footage of it because there were only three sales in the community, and all of them were just like a little folding table that had a few things on it that there just wasn't there. So I didn't even get the camera out, but you didn't miss anything. It's footage I wouldn't have, I probably wouldn't have included anyway. So we're gonna keep trying. It's quarter till 11 and I just feel like I've wasted my morning. I've been out for two hours and I've spent $2, well, $4, $2 on the uh, uh, Girl Scout cookies and I bought a couple mitts at the very first sale that I went to. So I don't know, uh, we'll keep trudging along and hopefully we'll find something. So sales in my normal neck of the woods, they just weren't happening or anything. So I decided to drive 30 minutes to the south side of Indianapolis. It's about noon now. I wish I would have done this earlier because the first sale that I went to, lady hands me a Philips DVD VCR combo and an Xbox 360 for a whopping free 99. And it's noon. I always find my good stuff at noon. I don't get it. Granted, I don't think the 360 works, but I can still sell it for parts. And I'm going to sell it for parts more than what I paid for it because I paid nothing for it. So we got some sales around here. Uh, we're just going to keep going. I guess uh, never give up. Words of wisdom. Also, my shirt's been inside out this whole time and you guys did not tell me. Thanks.
doing well? How about yourself? Is there anything wrong with your Dyson? Or works just fine? Yeah. Wait, what are you wanting for it? Yeah, it works. You can touch. Is there like a switch or something, or like? What's that? Is there like a switch on it? Oh, there it goes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's like a pressing it and I'm like... Button, yeah, you pull, you pull the trigger and then uh, there's a max button on the back you uh -huh. get some more suction. Okay. On and off. Alright. And it's got the charger and the attachments. Cool. Let me uh, run across the street and think about it and I'll pop back over here. Playing tonight. I'm going to get my whole family to play it. Good luck. You all going to play it with me. Did you do 20 on it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then what? $50. Oh, this is short. It's short. I know. 25. Yeah. Sure. $2. $2. And then would you just take two for these? It's two twenty-five. Like, oh. sticker price, yeah. Twenty-one, twenty-two. Okay. Thank you I'm gonna get a bag out of my backpack. Yeah. You want a bag? I've got one in my oh, backpack. Okay. You got enough room in there? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, you want the attachment for five bucks? <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought that was in. <laughs> I would have made, right, so made the same joke. I would have made the same joke. Okay. There you go. All right. Perfect. Thank you very much. You have a good rest of your day. Tuesday morning, you get the uh, you get the greasy hair, you get the whole package, but you're not going to be looking at me for long. I wanted to, I'm running behind on getting this video out. I've been trying to film uh, stuff that I've got, I just haven't had time. So uh, we're going to do that real fast. I'm going to turn you around and try and go over everything that I got over the weekend. And so first up, I got these four mitts. One's a Louisville Slugger. It's a little dirty. It needs cleaned. I probably shouldn't have bought this one. It's pretty small, but it's Alex Rodriguez, and it's got some writing on it. Um, this is a Rawlings. It's got some writing on it, too, but not as much as that other one. And then the Mizuno's probably the best one. Uh, unfortunately, it's left-handed, or it's left-hand throw, and I don't know if that uh, makes a big difference or not. I know left-hand, or they're probably harder to sell. I don't know, but I got them all for a dollar a piece, so... And then I also paid a dollar for these uh, speed stack cups. I just sold a whole set of these, um, which you'll see in my next video, my next haul video. Um, that had like a mat and a timer and everything, and it sold for $30. I paid a dollar for just the cups, and I think I can get 10 for them. I uh, bought this Wingman Attack um, joystick from Logitech for a dollar. It's probably only worth like 15 nothing too crazy. Um, but it shouldn't be too bad to ship. Now, in this box uh, is the Philips DVD VCR um, player and Xbox 360 with a couple controllers in there. Um, the VCR DVD player does work, and the Xbox 360 works, but the disc tray is jammed on it. So I'm going to have to sell it for parts. I could crack it open, but I really don't want to. So everything in that box was free, um, so I really can't complain. Bought two bats. Um, this one is a Demarini Cat uh, Osterman. The, where's the model number on it? DX1. 33 inches, 22 ounces. And then this one is a uh, Demarini Vengeance, I believe. It's a baseball bat, I think. Uh, drop 8 VER12. Um, I paid a dollar for the vengeance, or two dollars for the vengeance, and a dollar for this one right here. Um, got these two little Star Wars heads. I wasn't entirely sure what they are, but they are little um, 
Micro Machines playsets. Unfortunately, I don't have the figures, so I don't think the heads are going to be worth very much. Vader, I haven't figured out how to open yet, but he's missing. He's supposed to have like that um, iconic glass pane right there, but unfortunately it's missing. Um, but I was, I was going to buy C-3PO, and then I just decided, you know what, we can't leave Vader behind. Um, I'll show you everything else that, that I got at that sale. Um, that way you guys can kind of determine how much I paid for it. Just a second. Ugh. I got these books at the same sale, uh, The Essential Guide to Characters, uh, The Art of Star Wars for A New Hope, The Art of Star Wars for Return of the Jedi, and The Art of Star Wars for The Empire Strikes Back. I originally said that I found a lot of all three of these books for 50 bucks, but I can't find that listing again, and they're going... I think I'm just going to list all three of these together and ask, try and get 30 for them. This book is worth absolutely nothing, um, so I probably won't even list it, and I'll probably just keep it myself and put it with my other Star Wars stuff that I own. Same sale, I got this Ouija board. Uh, turns out the price of Ouija boards have gone down a little bit since I last uh, messed with Ouija boards. So that's fun, but I still think I can get like 10 to 12 for it. And then also at that sale, I got the uh, Omron uh, Fat Loss Monitor. I took all the batteries out of it, that's why it's not turning on. Um, but So for the two heads, the Ouija board, the books, and the Fat Loss Monitor, I paid... $15 for all of it, and I think I can get like 50 for this. Like I said, I'm going to ask 30 for the books. The heads, I'm not real sure what I'm going to do, and then 10 for the Ouija board, so I think I did pretty okay there. At one sale, I got this stack of Diary of a Wimpy Kid books. You saw me get it. I paid $2 for all of them. I know when you lot them up, they generally sell pretty well, but I think I'm going to put 20 on them with uh, free shipping and see if I can get that for them just to try it out start moving some stuff around here so I don't go over stuff that I've already done. Bought this box of uh, Wilton cake pans. I don't know if I should have or not. I think I'm going to have a hard time shipping them, which I didn't think about. But a lot of these were um, vintage Halloween. There's like a turkey for Thanksgiving. A scary ghost. And I think most of them have their liners in there. But I paid 15 for the entire box and there's 9 of them in there. Um, I don't know, it was worth a shot. It was something different, and I know Wilton Cake Pans do pretty well. Um, but I might wait a little more until around Halloween to actually list those. At another sale, I got this Sony uh, CD cassette recorder uh, boombox. Um, it is tested, it does work, it comes with the original power cord and its manual. I paid seven dollars for the stereo, I think I can get around forty for it. And then I also bought this stack of blank cassette tapes. They're open, so I probably shouldn't have, but I got all of them for a dollar. I couldn't really complain. You guys saw me buy this, I paid five dollars for this bag of Harry Potter stuff. Um, he's still new sealed. Unfortunately there's a lot of him listed on there. Um, the Hagrid is probably the best one. They're by Gund, Gund, um, but they're all new with tags, um, and I believe the whole set is in here. There's Fluffy and Scabbers, who still has his tail, surprisingly. Uh, I forgot the cat's name. It's probably on there. It's going to drive me insane if I don't know. Mrs. Norris. Uh, and Norbert. So they're all from uh, the first Harry Potter movie from like 2000. Um, there's also this uh, Hermione Granger uh, ornament. I don't know if it's pewter, so that's probably got some value to it. I haven't looked that up yet. Um, there's also this Hagrid uh, minifigurine that is also new sealed. And then there are three packs of unopened booster cards from a uh, trading game. This one fell out of its thing, but it's got the back for it. Um, don't really know if these are going to be worth anything. Worst case, I'll crack them open because I enjoy opening packs. And I think that was everything, yeah. So I paid $5 for all the Harry Potter stuff. Uh, Hagrid sells, like I said, for about 20 I think I'm going to ask 10 for the rest of them. 
like each and see what happens and if they don't sell I'll eventually just lot them up and try and make a big lot out of them. Um, at another sale I got these AT&T uh, modems by 2Wire. Um, there's two of them in here. I haven't plugged them in yet but I got them for free. <laughs> I walked up and uh, it was like noon whenever I got to this sale and I said hey how much for this box? And they said half of whatever's on the sticker. And I said, there's no sticker. They're like, well, half of zero is zero, so I guess uh, I guess it's yours. So I walked out. I think I can get like $15 a piece for them. So I went to one sale. And whenever I got there, the lady was very, like, freaking out. She was not having a good time. She was shaking. She was, like, breathing heavy. And um, she's like, they dumped it. They dumped it. And I was like, okay. And so at this point, I'm like, I just need to look through this really fast and get out of here. And then she goes, I'm not going to be able to make change. Somebody robbed me. I was like, oh, no, I am here at the wrong time. Um, somebody had dumped out her purse and stole like $400. So scumbag people of the world, don't do that. Just don't. So um, I was kind of hastily looking at her sale. And I got this uh, $10 Google Play card for 5 bucks. So that's going to be a keeper. And then I got five of these Tamagotchi connections that are new sealed. And I thought I was going to make bank, but the packaging is what really scared me. It's not like it's typical packaging. Um, I got five of them. I paid $2 a piece, but they are all fake. So uh, it's something I would have noticed, but since the whole like situation was going on, I just kind of grabbed them and left and didn't really think twice about it. I didn't try and haggle her, obviously. <laughs> she didn't have any change to make. And uh, otherwise, I would have left those Tamagotchis, but the situation was kind of weird, you know. Um, turn you back around here. At another sale, I got uh, all these games from Roller Coaster Tycoon up, the Wii games. A lot of these are crappy games, but they were 25 cents a piece for the Wii games, and Roller Coaster Tycoon was 50 cents, so I just couldn't leave them sitting there. Then I got this... Uh, Wii sensor bar. It's an ultra sensor bar. Um, I've only seen one red one on there, and it sold for 20 bucks. I paid $3 for this. Ugh. Um, is that everything? Oh, no. Um, gotta go down here. Uh, I paid 50 cents for this Nintendo Game Boy thing. I shouldn't have, because I already have one listed, and it's not selling. So I just added... I just made that listing that I already had up a multi quantity listing and now I have two of them. It's super easy to list. In this bag, we'll go over here into the light. I got some golf covers. I probably paid too much for them. This one's going in the trash, this Nike CPR one. It's stained and ripped up. Um, and then these are a couple of fairway wood ones. Uh, I paid five dollars for the four of them but obviously i've only got three of them i think i can get ten for this one and i might try and put these together because one's a three and one's a five and try and get like five to ten for it um hindsight probably shouldn't have bought them and then also i got a stack of uh blank sealed cassette tapes for two dollars and then I know I'm kind of doing this in like a terrible way, but like I said, I've been trying to film this for two days. Another thing I got were these Hyperlite Tomet Medium uh, Wakeboard Boots. I paid $13 for him. He was asking $15. I tried to get him for $10, um, but I took him for $13. I've only seen one pair similar to this, similar to this that sold pre-owned, um, and they were sized large, and they sold for $79. So I think I'm going to put mine on there for... 75 just to see what happens it is in the middle of summer when wakeboarding is a uh, popular thing right now they're in pretty good shape they're just a little a little dirty but they're gonna go in the water so i assume the dirtiness probably doesn't mean too much and then the last thing that i got you've probably seen in the background was the same sale i got all the golf club covers at out of the way was this screaming serpent connects roller coaster um she wanted 20 for it and i tried to get it for 10 um because obviously 
I didn't open it up. It was taped shut. Um, and she reassured me that everything was in there. And I was a little hesitant because I know it's going to be a lot of pieces. Um, like I said, so I ended up paying 15 for this. I wasn't going to. I had footage of me buying this, but that piece of film got corrupt. Um, I wasn't going to buy it for 15 And then she said, like, they opened it up. They played with it for, like, 10 minutes and put everything back in because it was too complicated for them. And I was like, okay, that sounds pretty honest compared to some of the other things. Like, my kids never, they just didn't play with it. And I'm like, hmm. But, uh. I don't know. She just seemed like a really honest person. So I haven't opened this up yet. We're going to open it up together. Um, I have cut the tape. That's all I've done. And let's take a peek inside and see if it's all in here or if uh, I'm going to have to part it out. Oh, yeah. I'm going to guess that it's all in here. Uh, all the stickers are steeled down. That's awesome. Uh, so they opened up one bag, the booklet. The chain, the track. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm very confident. Uh, what's in this box? Oh, there's some batteries back here. Hopefully, it's not corroded anything. What's in this box? What's in the box? More motor pieces? Okay, so maybe I am gonna have to... I'm gonna have to check some of this, but... It doesn't... It doesn't look like she was lying that they opened it up, played with it for a few minutes, and then put everything back. I know the train car... I can sell for $15 on its own. And then the rest of this connects next. So I'm probably going to have to do some counting just to be safe. But color me confident that everything is in there. I like that all the stickers are still down. So, like I said, I paid 13 for that or 15 for that. Um, I think I can get around 80, maybe closer to 100 since the stickers are still on there. Um, if it's all complete, if it's not complete, I'm going to have to part it out. But I know the track I can sell for 10, the stickers I could probably sell for. Uh, 10 the car itself goes for like 15 which is what I paid for it so feeling pretty good I've got to go edit this so that I can get this video up um, so that's gonna do it for this video if you like this video make sure you click the like button and subscribe down the below to be notified of when I upload more videos um, I think next week we're gonna hold off on your sale footage unless I find something really good and we're gonna do another what sold video because I got quite a bit to go through again so thanks for watching everybody and I hope I will see you all in the next one